after 15 days. Wow, ang bilis. <laughs> what I'm gonna do? Like, Enough, though. Till next time. I didn't really think of parang, ah, oh, okay. Anything serious at all? Okay. Okay, let's go. Cool. <laughs> Maybe it's gonna pass. some of the things that are timely these days. Maybe things that are negative. Many are struggles that we don't even think that we could be able to achieve. However, there are also some good things and I think it is really a perfect time to do it. Let me introduce to you my beautiful and good friend. She's a life coach and from Empowered Women PA. Kate Constantino. Hello, hi, good evening, welcome, and uh, thank you for having me. I'm very excited about this collaboration of ours. And I would like to say first and foremost hello to Remy Bond's subscribers, hello. And thank you so much for letting me doing this. You know, we've been planning this, and finally we are here, and this is gonna be really, really oh, exciting. Of course, it's my pleasure as always, and we do support each other, so I'm very excited about this collab. Okay, before we start, um, Kate, can you please tell us about your um, page, Empowered Women? Just, you know, just a quick introduction. Well, Empowered Women, I, I uh, put up this page because I want to encourage, empower, and equip women, especially during this time of uh, crisis. So it really pushed me to give all my best and, and to give or share all the values that I can to be able to help them now. You can check out my page, Empowered Women PH, on Facebook to know more about it. I am going to link her Facebook page on the description below. Okay, so what do we have here in this video? I thought about we can do a question and answer about what our opinion with what's happening these days. We call it the pandemic. We think that we could give like a little bit of positive energy for all of you. And I think that's not a bad idea, right? Yes, right? for sure, for sure, for sure. Anything we can do to help you, of course, the followers of Remy Bond. So, let's start. So I prepared uh, several questions for both of us that we are going to answer. If you have other, also an advice or positive, you know, things that you could say, feel free to comment down below. So, first question. What was your reaction when the first lockdown started? The first lockdown, no, when they announced it, I wasn't really, it was, I didn't panic because I didn't know the severity of the situation. So life goes on. No? So first we had this two weeks, I think, and then it got one month. Mm -hmm. So now there are two types of things that you can do when you have this fear inside you. In, any situation so for me i use my fear as my power to do something i said i cannot sit and wait what's going to happen or just wait until the rain stops or something like that no so i i said i have to do something i have to help people because i'm very blessed and i'm very thankful and grateful every single day and so i want to be able to help women specifically with regards to this situation. It's either you freeze or you do something about it. And I chose to do something about it. So not because you are in a pandemic, there's no opportunity for you. you no, know, especially if you have a good heart in helping others. That's a really good answer. For me, it was the other way around. So when the lockdown um, started and it was announced, I was like, what am I going to do? Like, you know, I mean, because that time I was actually with my kids and with my friends. We were in the Union and then, oh my God, 
we need to go back to Manila because you know 24 hours you have to be in Manila if you're not where you are from then you cannot enter anymore so we cut the trip short and then I didn't really think of anything serious at all this was like come yeah. on maybe it's gonna pass to be honest I'm like okay let's go back to Manila and then go on with life that's yeah. it <laughs> that was my reaction yeah I think a lot of people had that yeah yeah Next question, how long before you accepted that this pandemic is not going to end soon? After 15 days? After wow, ang bilis! <laughs> after, accept agad after 15 days? Right. If you don't accept the situation yeah. that you're in, uh, it would be very difficult for you to do something about it. Yeah, actually, I, so, I agree. For me naman, how long I accepted, it took a long time, actually. I think it took Three months. Three months. <laughs> For me, yeah, super long actually because I was like, I only accepted it when I realized that I would not be able to travel talaga. We were trying to see if um, I can follow him and then so we can be together because it's going to be long distance relationship. When the government announced about travel ban, I was like, okay, I get it. I set my mind that, okay. I won't be able to travel until maybe late next year, so <laughs> three months. Yeah, we're not all the same. Yeah, that's why. It's and it depends on your lifestyle. Answer. How, yeah, exactly. what, what, what type of impact mm -hmm. for you to realize mm -hmm. when? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next question is, how did you cope up with the pandemic, and what are the things that you did? My routine is almost the same. I have to be intact and be strong for everyone, and not show any sign. But I'm fear. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> For me, naman, I cope up by accepting it. Yeah. So, yeah. Diba? Yeah. I accepted after three months, and then I was actually like really just going with the flow, and then trying to think positive. But then, even I was trying to think in a positive way, I was still not accepting it. So by the time that I already realized, okay, I'm really coping up. I'm accepting it. If you don't accept it, I don't think you can, you can survive. survive really. I did lots of things that I don't do usually. I did cooking, I did cleaning, decluttering, plants. Oh my God. <laughs> I was a gardener. Then, I was a chef. Yeah. <laughs> a baker. The in. Yeah. Like everybody's oh. buying plants. Yeah. So next question is, which part of your life that is most affected during this pandemic? Which part of my life? My love life? Charing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Gusto ko no, yan. Gusto ko yan. Actually, <laughs> hindi. Wala eh. Kasi wala ako eh. So walang affected. But uh, I think it's more on my kids. Especially mm. my, um, my daughter. My nine-year-old daughter. Because her dad lives abroad. So the challenging part is cannot travel mm -hmm. to see him. Yeah. And it you. takes a lot of process for them to see each other. Yeah. Because you have to do quarantine, mm -hmm. you have to um, a lot. So oh, I tell you every time while we are discussing this, I, I even more parang appreciate um, my life. Yeah, exactly. Uh, being not being able to to not be affected as yeah. much as others mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. why I really help people as much as I can mm -hmm. in my own way emotionally I want to be able to support women because yeah I, I really yeah. feel very blessed yeah you know mm -hmm. and um, but still I, I have this realization with regards to what I can do yeah like we are not born here just to worry about pay bills to pay yeah exactly or, yeah. or with, in, in all earthy stuff but we are more than that and I was able to uh, do the realization of our purpose here mm -hmm. through this pandemic yeah for me naman um, the most affected um, part is the relationship with my husband mm -hmm. actually this is the first time that we're doing a um, long-distance mm -hmm. relationship and it's really difficult but I realized so many things that I, I look I look at it on the on the positive side yeah, like oh yeah. okay then I miss him so much because he's not around so for me you just really have to look at on the bright side okay. 
you know, that's how we get to find answers if we're in a past positive side. It's always, at least, diba, yeah. you get to miss each yeah, other. Exactly. And yeah. so when you see each other, it's like really intense. Yeah, exactly. Love, so. And then the, the, really, the really good part is he still has a work. <laughs> he still yeah. has a job. Yeah. We really think we are one of those people that are lucky enough that he still have the job and can still provide for the family. What is the best thing that happened to you during this pandemic? The best thing, I guess, being able to contribute to what's happening now in the pandemic. You know, I, I love it. I love being able to get messages of gratitude from Empowered Women Teenage that I was able to help them because a lot of women you know, whether it's not pandemic, but what I was thinking during the pandemic, it amplifies their inner struggle. Mm -hmm. And being able to tell them that Empowered Women is here and um, willing to help, and you can tell or say whatever, just to um, ease the burden, is something that I feel so blessed and uh, uh, grateful. And being close to the family, oh my God, it's like my, my kids are 22, 21, and nine years old. So we get to eat together, on the table together, have a chat. You know, just because we're finishing, we, we just leave the table. No, we just sat, chat, and then catch up. Because I was busy with my business before as well. So I really, if you are going to think of positive or the positive thing about what's happening now, talagang you would realize there is a lot of blessings, small blessings combined together. It's really, if you learn to appreciate it, talagang yeah. nakakagaan mm -hmm. na po. So it would be more easier for you to be able to adapt to what's happening now. Yeah, because I think uh, most of the people before the pandemic, we tend to take advantage of life mm -hmm. like we don't really appreciate small things anymore like we just want more and more yeah. and more yeah. like so and we we don't even stop like we yeah. just busy 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 yeah busy busy busy, busy. Uh, i think yeah home. that's the yeah that's the best thing like being able to be home but now i think it's a little bit long <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but you'll never know after this oh, yeah when exactly. is the next time yeah, 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 yeah. Have yeah. this chance with yeah, your family. Exactly. You know? Yeah, for me, naman, the best thing happened to me is yun nga, I realized that I should be really grateful of what life I have yeah. compared to other people. Mm -hmm. And uh, creating this YouTube channel, diba? which is, I never thought that I'm gonna do. And seeing you guys giving you, everyone, what I can share also with you know information yeah. entertainment you know i'm trying to really being creative and try to do my best to give entertainment for people yeah and when <laughs> you give a lot of value you yeah. know and um it's very helpful and all the comments from your subscriber you really do help imagine yourself mm -hmm. having this just sharing yeah. what you enjoy the yeah. travel the, the food the yes. people appreciate it yeah and it makes it even lighter yeah in this mm -hmm. situation that we have thank I mean, you remy bond <laughs> <laughs> i mean there's so many negative things happening around us already so for me the main goal for me is i want to give my positive energy to mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. that are going to watch me or watching me yeah i'm so happy to do that <laughs> yeah what do you miss the most and the first thing you will do when this pandemic is over I want to travel because usually for me to de-stress with all what's happening and especially now I want to be by the water to be made for you know Bora I go every three months you know before the pandemic you have to take care of yourself especially if everybody is depending on you yeah you have to give yourself time to recharge and you shouldn't forget that para hindi kayo madrain Yes. give self-love um, and then when you have self-love you'll be able to give love to others. Oh. I deserve it. Yeah, yeah, of so, course. Naman. 
we all deserve to treat ourselves. Mm -hmm. Don't be too hard to yourself, actually. I always yeah. say that to myself, even though sometimes, okay, enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For me naman, um, I miss social gatherings. I miss my friends. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna travel to see my favorite friends. So, oh. hindi dito sa Philippines yan. <laughs> Oh, again. Uh -huh. <laughs> My favorite is the Mako. Wala sa Pilipinas. Siyempre, mga nandito sa Pilipinas, di ba? I, I already um, see them. Yeah, yeah. More, more often. More, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Okay, last question. Any advice on how to look at things in a positive way? We have to be grateful even in small ways. You know, um, I if I would suggest, and I do this myself, um, try saying thank you. Alimbawa, just saying thank, thank you for the nice weather. Thank you for the food. Thank you for taking care of my kids. Thank you for not being able. What when you have this, you really uh, you, you it comes from, from your heart. Yeah. And when you say a lot of thank you and thank you gratitude, it makes you feel positive inside. And then realize that how blessed ko pala. Yeah. Nowadays, we really need to have that. Because mm -hmm. if you know, yeah. mm -hmm. it's hard. It's hard because we don't know when this is ending. Nobody knows. Diba? Nobody, Nobody declares. Knows. We just have to start within us. Mm -hmm. And then it starts to spread. Yeah. If you talk to people and you're being positive, then you pass the positivity to that person. Exactly. Even if he's. Like she's uh, depressed and I don't have any job and stuff like that. But if you give her or pass the energy, the positive energy of, from you, then that, that's where it starts. So, yeah. Yeah. For me, to add on that, um, I already, I agree with what, you know, anything that you said, that's actually pretty good. For me, to be able to have a positive um, manners, you have to acknowledge your feelings and try to, uh, what you call this, acknowledge and then see how you are. It will start to yourself, to be able to give you know, positive energy to other people. And I always believe that life is really too short. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, before the pandemic happened, who knows that it's gonna happen? Mm -hmm. Nobody knows. So maybe before when you were trying to stop yourself to go out, now that you realize, oh my God, I should have, Kind of, yeah, you know, <laughs> so I think for me, try to acknowledge what you feel, and then if you accept that feeling, and then you know yourself already, that's the time that you can control what is going to happen. Yeah, around you. yeah, you know, because if you accept what you feel, for example, if it's a negative, then you know what to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. if, if not, if you don't know, I, I don't know, yeah, I, I don't know, how are you? Sayo talaga magsisimula sa sarili diba, mo talaga diba. So you'll know what to do. Yeah. So acceptance is number one as well. Acceptance is the key. <laughs> Para love life uh -oh. and yan, di ba? Yeah. It's so gay. Shout out to Miss Rio. So I know but, but I mean, we want to really I mean, if, yeah. if we want us to, if they, uh, we want them to take us seriously. Yeah. That this is really for us now. We want to give you as much value as we can to be able to surpass or help you surpass whatever you are going through. Yeah. Kaya naman ayaw natin maging weirdo baka yeah, baka they might think, so, they yeah. might think we're, we're, oh, we're just kidding and we yeah. don't take us seriously but we are serious when it comes Yeah, we are so serious. Helping you. Yeah, exactly. We are so serious. That's why I came and I came to see my friend because I know that she will have a lot of positive um, things to say for all of us and I'm so thankful that she let me do it of and course, uh, course. I hope everyone you know that you learn something or I mean actually not about learning something it's about giving the positive energy because of what's happening around and yeah. super super thank you okay. oh it's my pleasure always always to be of support to you, you know especially to your subscriber yeah. next time we're gonna do maybe just um you know not so serious video oh. <laughs> or something that we love to do with yeah. you guys cooking yeah Chibimba. oh my god she cooks a real good sushi <laughs> I don't cook sushi, but I prepare. But you 
naman yung nasa loob nun. <laughs> Alright everyone, I hope that you enjoy this video and um, I put the link of Kate's Facebook page for those who are interested and thank you very yes. much. Do you have anything else to say? Uh, keep on going, no? Uh, Embrace challenges and that's one of my, uh, what I always believe. Kasi challenges, after that you learn something and you gain in a strength. So that's coming from an empowered woman. Page. So I hope to check out my page on Facebook. There's a lot of free videos, diba? Yeah. About um, mm -hmm. about the power of confidence, about how to overcome challenges and stuff. So I hope, and that's for free. So please visit and you can watch it for free, and hope you will be able to um, get value from it and find something that resonates you to help you during this um, pandemic. So. And that's it. Okay, guys. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new on my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get all the notification and <laughs> updated videos from my channel. And so, goodbye.